What's up everybody? For this video, I'm going to be going over the nuances of how to use pike push-ups as a progression exercise toward handstand push-ups, as well as just a general exercise that will help strengthen your shoulders and overhead pressing strength. The most common version of this exercise is known as the decline pike push-up, where you raise your feet on a chair or something higher to increase the intensity of it and mimic the trajectory of the handstand push-up as well as reduce the hamstring flexibility requirement of doing it with your feet on the floor. Unfortunately, this exercise is often done incorrectly and I have a whole extremely detailed blog post that goes over the proper form and how to set yourself up for consistency because most of the demonstrations online are incorrect and you basically want to not put your head straight down and flare your elbows out to the side, but you want to send the shoulders forward so that your nose touches the ground and you make a triangle between your hands and your head, essentially. So you want your head to go forward ahead of the fingers. That is what mimics the handstand push-up and puts sufficient strain on your anterior delts, the front of your shoulders. Now it's pretty obvious that you need a chair or a bench or something to raise your feet on, but what do you do if you're out in the park, you've set up your gymnastics rings and you don't have a good place to do pike push-ups or a wall to do handstand push-ups? The solution is to put your feet in the rings and then use the rings as your wall or bench. I actually prefer doing it this way versus doing a handstand push-up against the wall for a few major reasons. First of all, you can set the rings to any height. So if the rings are set to the chest, it mimics a decline pike push-up. But then if you raise the rings to about neck height or head height, it mimics the handstand push-up even more. Now the other major benefit is that you don't have to deal with the friction of your feet against the wall because that adds a lot of resistance to an already very difficult exercise and if you have to deal with the feet not able to slide easily up against the wall or your shoes are on and you need to move the feet it just makes the exercise a lot more difficult and finally whenever you're doing a handstand push up against the wall and you can't do it anymore it can be dangerous or awkward or very just difficult to bail out of it but with the rings with your feet in the rings all you need to do is straddle your feet apart and the exercise becomes significantly easier and it's an excellent way to bail out of it afterwards because you can definitely press up if you straddle your feet apart for that final rep so you could remove your feet out of the rings and come down as you get more comfortable with this exercise and you are able to do it with the ring set to neck or head height and you're trying to mimic a handstand push-up with your feet in the rings, you will find that the more you walk your hands backwards, the harder it becomes because it makes you more vertical. And that should be the goal in regards to progressing this exercise over time. I hope you found this video insightful and I urge you to check out the blog post on how to do pike push-ups with perfect form and how to set yourself up properly because it's much more technical than you'd expect. A lot of people don't even get regular push-ups correctly, uh, let alone more advanced versions. So definitely take a look there. The link to that blog post is in the description of this video. And other than that, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to read your comments and tell me what you thought of this video. And if you're not subscribed, please do so now and hit the bell button so you'll get notifications on my next video. And leave a like. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day.